Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to create view functions. So first off, let's dive into our library app and within here I'm just going to pop open this views.py file. In here I would like to first import that um, on the top of course. Let's just import the HTTP response just to make sure that our Django app works correctly. So from Django.http, import HTTP response. There we go. And I'm going to say, let's create a home. Now, the home page or the welcome page, I'm just going to name that view function as home itself. Now, we know that this is going to accept a request object. This request object is going to contain all the information about HTTP requests coming from the browser. Uh, for example, it's going to contain the information about what kind of HTTP request it is, at what time it came, what was the status of that, and all of the other information. So I want this function to just go ahead and return an HTTP response that is going to say welcome to the book lib application book um, booklet app i'm just going to call it booklet app now from here uh, what i would like to do is first i'm going to go to the uh, urls.py we have provided the view function but we have not actually mapped it to a certain url so in here let's just open the url.py files and first off let's import from the library uh, library uh, application app we are going to import the views views um, file and from there we are going to import the home uh, view function now the way that these URL patterns or the URL mappings are going to work is going to be that we are going to I'm just going to lowercase this one uh, we are going to provide a main URL for the home page and for all of the other pages and that main url is going to have book clip slash in in its name so when it, whenever we have this um, url we have the local host and the port after that we are going to have this book clip slash so any other url will be attached at the end of this current url that you're seeing on the page in the address bar so uh, this is just a best practice just to make sure for every application we are going to provide the URLs within a URLs.py which we're going to create for that specific app. And um, I'm going to uh, import the include as well. So here in the path, I'm just going to say import the include function as well. There we go. So this include function. And now in here, let's say path, okay, lowercase path so for all the URLs that are going to come from my library application they are going to be prefixed by the book booklet slash and where are they coming from they're included from the library that URLs library dot URLs there we go so let's save this one and now let's go ahead and actually create that file so within the, within this library what we are going to do is, uh, let me just first just get rid of that. There we go. So I'm just going to say a new file, urls.py. Now within this urls.py, first off, let's import django.urls. From there, we're going to import path so we are able to create some paths. Now I'm gonna for now I'm just uh, I'm just gonna create this um, list, but I'm not gonna provide anything inside of it. So uh, with this, our lecture comes to an end. In the next lecture, we are going to handle models, migrations, and the admin config. And we are gonna handle all of that in our next lecture. See you then.